Hello there everyone and welcome back to an Age of Petty Kings. We're playing as House Duradon and let's go ahead and see what has happened since last time there, King Duran. I find the price of 4,000 for Castle Yornwood to be completely acceptable and I will have a diplomat at your gate with the money as soon as possible, King Bors. Um, so we'll go ahead and buy. So he will go ahead and buy that, and give me um, four thousand for it, which I think is quite reasonable, I guess. Um, that's the income you would get from that. In what that would be, uh, almost. I mean, not really. In that's like five turns or something, I believe. And given that we've played 18, that's uh, quite a lot so far, but yeah. You know what? I completely forgot about this army I had right here. We need to move them into action as well. Roll them into action up in our war. Uh, we'll have to keep some of them back. So how about we keep... I'm doing this wrong. Those two down here and the rest will follow although the cavalry units would need to be retrained because they're quite weak so we would leave them as well so these two and then the cavalry would be retrained and they would have to turn up later since they move move rather fast um, <coughs> the cavalry um, I can leave them behind and they will uh, be able to come up quite quickly. Let's go ahead and do this and uh, not military, but uh, balanced And then retrain the cavalry for some reason. I can't I guess there's not enough people I don't want to evacuate this just yet, but maybe I should um, once uh, We allow them to buy it. I imagine we will be teleported out of this area because I, if I leave right now, yeah, they will be quite unhappy. So we'll have to wait with that. Um, has this spawned any new lords anywhere? Sometimes it does that. You know, we've got uh, quite a lot of people up here. Can I move one of these? Oh. Can I move some of these? over here since they are a bit unhappy here that seemed to have fixed it and now these are both yellow instead uh, we got the main the main castle let's see if we can do it like this and then this unit will move or two units actually Two units will then move into the main castle. We got this general that turned up as well. I'm gonna take my main king and I'm gonna move him out because he's so old. Um, and I'll keep the faction air stationed inside. Um, and then we probably need some more men. We have a lot of crossbow men here, so let's go ahead and have those. We do have a, trebu a trebuchet. Let's go ahead and cap have a catapult as well while we're at it. Um, these two units can now be rightly deleted since we got um, narrow sea sergeants taking their spot. Um, and we probably need some more men to reinforce the main army. So in this case we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots left. And we have recruited four, which means we have three more to fill. Um, most of it goes down to sieges, so let's have three infantry units. Maybe I should have some of these uh, Greenwood longbowmen, but now I've spent all my money, so... That's not going to happen. Um, let's see. Nothing else is really... Ah, look at that. We've got some enemy rebels here. 
but we do not know their strength and at this time I don't think it's um, wise to move out to meet them but we might want to have maybe some archers to protect inside the castle or cavalry to chase down their archers you know arch uh, I've got archers on the way so we might uh, go ahead and keep them there. This army will continue on. Needs to go north. Uh, these two units, since they're not um, part of this, could probably move out to join this one later on. And then we've got the situation up here. None of these can really move out, so we've got this one. Um, that should go ahead and attack this place and take that. And let's go ahead and move we had the spy here I was hoping he was gonna move that but he is actually quite rightly placed it there to protect against incursions of uh, enemy spies and stuff okay we do not get a, uh, get out get out there so he's gonna have to go that way um, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing down here but um, Let's have him go over through here and just seek out some towns and bridges and stuff. What I need to know is basically more or less this area around here, maybe a bit more. But I have most of the front line. We've got a princess over here. Greyjoy! They make a lot of money, so a trade agreement with them would be rather nice. Plus, maybe if I got their uh, map information, that would be good. Accepted. So we got trade with them. And, okay, they know basically nothing of the map, except for a little bit of this island, where clearly the Lannisters taken over. And, oh, there's their capital out there. So they're still sort of ish alive, but I don't know how they still make so much money. I believe they are still the one them that's making the most. And we will continue through here, just checking Lannister lands. So that's that diplomat. Then we got this diplomat that has now moved into mud territory. So we'll see about if we can find mud. So we got um, Mouton and Mud. Let's go ahead and talk with Mud first then. Trade rights, map information. How about this? They go ahead and accept. It would be nice if I could go ahead and talk with this guy as well. But I guess we'll continue on here. A Bolton diplomat has turned up. So now we see mud. They control this sort of ish area. Um, and I've moved. I've moved everything now. I've recruited everything. Uh, maybe we're gonna need a more n bigger navy because right now all we have is one galley, which isn't which isn't really a lot, is it? What we need to do now is we need to uh, attack and have the the Siege of Hayford. And let's see how this goes. Clearly the enemy cannot stand against us. As high as as Hodor. Words of House Arryn. The crap? The, as high as Hodor. I didn't know Hodor was high. Only the archers, really. It's gonna be useful here. Crossbowmen, not so much. Drop your ladders. Cavalry in behind, pikemen behind. And then we'll make the climbing spots. I think we have one, maybe two spots over there. And then it's over on this side. There we got spots, and let's go ahead and start. This place we have three. 
locations where we can get up. Archers have opened fire since they are within range and they're aiming over here where they have crossbowmen which are now laying down fire upon us. Plus all the fire from the towers. On this side they've got crossbowmen as well. So we should be able to claim the walls pretty quickly. And then it's down to deal with this general. So far we've lost 2% of our force. Isn't a lot. Let's go ahead and get the ladders up on the wall. And force the enemy off. The enemy is retreating in anticipation of our arrival. Let's move the crossbowman up and the bowman. By th oh yeah, we'll move up the um, the pikeman as well. But I think the spearman will be enough to slay the enemy. And so the spearmen will now move towards the center of town. I'm not entirely sure if it's, it will even be necessary for the rest to come in. It would be nice if we could catch these. Catch me outside. I can't remember what the meme is. Okay, they're, they seem to have a bit of trouble making their way over here. Let's see, didn't we have a third unit? There. And then these two needs to m get a move on. Oh, it's only one unit. There's the other one. And then you three come along there. And now they've charged in. Let's see if we can catch these on the outside of uh, this area so they don't fight to their death. So we'll have this one charge in there, this one charge in between, and this one will go for the general. And this one will sort of fight this one and this one at the same time as they try to block this area. So in case these start to rout, they'll have to ride through all of this. As you can see, they're now sort of on their own there. I think what we'll do is, we'll, since we have two units here, they are ready and steady though. This unit is losing a lot because they're surrounded by the enemy. The enemy lord. They're shaken even. But they're spearmen against cavalry. They should be doing pretty well. We're pushing up everyone here to see if we can just get this fight over with rather quickly so we can push on, relieve this unit and maybe one or all of these actually. Uh, to move around and then help this unit. They did initially quite badly. Well, they are still actually because they're not. They haven't killed that many of them. As I, or as many as one might think. These guys are shaken. We're gonna have to have these guys climb in and just capture the, the gates and stuff. Get inside. Bad planning here on my part. And since we cannot really replenish the men, um, this is obviously not very good. Yes, the general died. That definitely is going to send the crossbowmen into a panic. Although they are fighting to the death because they are surrounded. But I don't think that's going to help them a lot. Because now they haven't e even equipped their swords.
the done for. Let's have you move over here. And then see if you can hurry in and start attacking the general's unit. Oh, they made it in rather quickly, the crossbowmen. They're already here. Forwards, men! Pikemen as well. Or did they just go through the gate, maybe? Maybe I was silly and I didn't realize that I had taken the gate. Come in from around behind them. Charge! Make your way forwards and get in there. Slay them and here comes the pikes. Let's see, we do have this crossbow unit. Not entirely sure if they will be able to put down any good fire here though. But they could possibly get in behind here and attack these guys. The general's unit has been completely destroyed at this point. Let's see if we can get the crossbow men maybe behind here. There's only three of these guys left though. Let's speed it up a bit. They're still fighting on rather... Rather good. Let's go ahead and open fire. Let's see if we can do this. We might be shooting some of our own. That definitely did the trick. Charge in. Charge in, everyone. You can't, s you don't stand a chance now. And we're going to speed it up. And they're gone. Or is there that one last guy there? There we go. Victory. Oh, we actually captured the inner courtyard. We lost 300 men out of our 1300 men or 1400 men force. So maybe a bit, a bit much. How many men did we heal? About 36 men healed. But now this castle is ours. I wonder what this picture is about. The wolf is chasing off some horses. Um, influx of nobility. Army routes, relationship worsened, trained increased. And gonna just move out here. Gonna build a tower and then move back in so we have a clear view. Oh, look at that. Loras Rowan of House Gardner has crossed over and attacked these guys. I'm guessing that he realized that what I was doing when I was trying to um, to sort of keep him off these lands by securing this by securing these two fortresses, securing him from any expansion this way towards the sort of middle of the map, which is now opens up. We'll see how this goes. But we at least hold this side. We've got this side of the rivers. We've got a bridge there that we can defend. Um. And we've got three areas left to conquer on our side. Uh, and I think for the next one, I think we, we it's safe to say that most of these guys' army is destroyed or gone. I'm not sure where they are, but they're not here, clearly. 
And with more men on the way, this army may be even arriving next turn. Um, we will be able to split some forces off by sending more men to maybe have the catapult. Oh, the catapult doesn't really reach anywhere. Um, but we could use that to advance and take these three settlements as well. Then beyond there we've got the red salmon faction, whoever they are. Um, I'm not entirely sure how they've got up to this point. They've got this in maybe... No, nothing out there. So they've got this, these four. Um, this place looks like a rather large town. So that might be useful to take. There's a lot of good towns there and a lot of good ports. That would be nice to take and that would make a lot of money. I don't really want to go out just yet against Bar Emon, which I believe is the one. Yes, because they've got a lot of these islands with large castles on. So they're probably going to be quite difficult to go to war with. But at some point, they should probably be uh, captured. But um, that's going to require a lot of ships just to uh, safely move my armies in between here. Which opens up for attacks on the front line, if that's uh, the feeling of Hans Gardner. But I do feel that Hans Gardner isn't really... He's not really as aggressive maybe as uh, I would think they do have the advantage right now him and Lannister maybe I guess maybe his forces are it's similar to what uh, what I had uh, where it seemingly was that I had an advantage in this area but I was my forces were tied up elsewhere um, yes not dragging this on anymore I I've done everything so oh wait ah, I got the cash from Hayford that means that I can sp what was it that I sort of wanted to spend on I'm not sure what to spend on I want to be the one that builds the, the larger set first sort of if you get maybe uh, you know as in um, normal medieval that you get oh this faction has built the biggest cathedral in the world and I want to build that at storm's end and then we probably need to do something here because they're quite unruly here so how about another set there making me a very pious man having these sets everywhere um, yes that will be it. So let's go ahead and end turn. And now it's over to House Gardner. Hopefully you enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.